guys, so in this video we're going to be installing the Momo Drift steering wheel in our Project RX-8. So let's get started. So in addition to the Momo steering wheel, we're going to be adding on the Works Bell quick release and the Boss adapter from Daike. This is a special edition Works Bell uh, based off the, the D1GP driver Toshiki Yoshioka. In Japanese on the quick release, it says Toshi King, which is his nickname. So let's get to it. Let's open these up. As we open it up, we have the instructions in English. The grounding adapters. This retails for around three hundred fifty dollars. Some some of the adapters you can get for around two hundred fifty. It works well, um, but it all depends on the shop you're buying from. But typically they're around three hundred fifty dollars. This is it. Alright, let's open up the boss adapter. What's nice about the boss adapter, it comes with all the electronics. Uh, it includes cruise control. Uh, looks like either. Let, let's see, what, let's open this up and find out. Looks like stereo controls, but. Uh, could be cruise control so actually those look like stereo controls this is a you can accelerate and slow down with these buttons if you choose to not use so we have the momo we're going to be using the momo uh, horn button instead of this button this is also a horn button and it works as cruise control so if you enjoy cruise control it's a nice option to have you can also throw it on a different steering wheel and have have the two steering wheels and uh, if you're going to be driving a long distance it might be worth it to throw this in uh, with the other steering wheel but for now we're going to be using the Momo, Momo horn button this is plastic it looks it looks like it's metal but it's plastic not the best looking part. Uh, it'd probably be look a little better if it was in flat. You can always modify it and paint it. It's plastic, so if you if you want to do that, you can. It also comes with the uh, SRS airbag uh, adapter to shut off the airbag light. So that's it. That's in the the boss boss adapter. With all your parts. And we're ready to go. So just a little update on the use of these products. The only way you would be able to use this is without the quick release. Because as, as you can see, the quick release, it only has the wiring for the button, the horn, for the horn buttons. And there's there's no hole for these wiring, this wiring to get through the quick release. Now, if you wanted to use these, you would have to go straight from your your die hub straight to the steering wheel so there would be no quick release in, in between um, so that that's it so if you do want to use the cruise control adapter you'd have to get rid of the quick release or have a quick release that has a pass-through for wiring so safety first always make sure you disconnect the battery and uh, depressure brake pedal to get all the electric out of the system uh, so that you have a less chance of your your airbag blowing on you uh, it's it's rare that I've, I've never seen that happen I don't see any YouTube videos where it's blowing when people are changing steering wheels but if there's a possibility of it be safe disconnect your battery and do it the safe way so first off there's these two tabs underneath the steering wheel that you're gonna have to pop off you can pop those off with your fingernails or you can use a little uh, plastic flat tip screwdriver and right under there is the bolt. 
it's a 10 millimeter you're going to want to take those out and then you should be able to get your airbag off so let's do that Okay, so what you're going to want to do, I'm doing this one-handed, but um, you want to slide your pick underneath the back here and just slightly prop, pry it up until it pops out and then you can pull it straight out. So once you get the airbag off, I'm going to pop this off. And then you're ready to disconnect the nut and then pull the steering wheel off. So this bolt right here is a 21 millimeter. Uh, I don't have my impact uh, electric impact driver so I'm uh, just going to use a breaker bar and uh, I already loosened it. But uh, basically pop it on, hold your steering wheel uh, straight and then break it if you don't have an impact driver. Otherwise, just hold your steering wheel, use your impact driver and pop it off. Okay, so now that we have the steering wheel off, you want to uh, take your clock spring and make sure the arrows are lining up with each other here. There's two little arrows, make sure they line up. Hold your clock, sp clock spring in place. <clears throat> and then we're gonna put the, the Daike hub on. So that's next. This is the adapter that came with the Daike hub. So we're gonna pop that into the factory clock spring. Okay. And the only thing that's going to go through the actual hub is the power for the horn. So the the hub, this is the top where it has little markings. So you want to make sure that that lines up and then you're going to pop that on. So you can see the sides of the hub, it has little, little cutouts. You're going to line those up with the clock clock ring and pop it in like that okay and put the hot and put the nut back on in the middle All right, so once you pop the nut in, uh, tighten it down, not too tight. You're gonna wanna finish tightening it once the wheel's on so that you can make sure everything's straight. But uh, you can tighten it up and then slide the horn button through the center. Like so. All right, so we're gonna add the uh, airbag delete sensors so just pop them right in make sure they line up come on line up there you go okay Oh, wait, wait a minute. Pop it out first. Push the clip back in. Come 
Come on, you son of a... There you go. Alright, so make sure the clip... Right. Make sure the clip is back in. Then pop it in. Then put your clip on. Alright, locking clip. That's, that's done. And put the clip on. Alright, these are gonna wrap around. Try to keep these out of the way. They're basically gonna be hidden in here. Like so. Okay guys, so uh, what I've found since I've installed the hub and uh, tested the quick release uh, distance with the steering wheel, uh, I've found that the steering wheel sits too close <clears throat> to me. So because this is a deep dish steering wheel, uh, it sits a little bit too close with the standard hub. So what I'm going to have to do is order the short hub from DiK and then put the uh, works bell quick release on that and uh, it should be perfect with the deep dish steering wheel. So right now it sits perfectly with the hub itself without the quick release, but with the quick release it's a little bit too close to me. So, uh, just an update on that. Uh, I'm going to continue the install with the quick release and drive it temporarily and wait until that, that short hub comes in. Once we get that, we'll throw that on and do an update on the video. So, look forward to that and uh, we'll get back to the install. So we're going to take this grounding wire from the quick release hub and we're going to add on the larger uh, female clip here. Since this is a smaller one, we're going to add the female and uh, that will connect to the horn button back here. The mumble horn button. So slight modification has to be done. Let's do this. Alright, so now that it's modified, you can uh, connect your steering wheel. You don't need a grounding ring, so this earth ring, you're not going to use this. It's not required with the Momo, so you can just pop this on. Okay, so we're going to add the bolts. All right, so now that you have the connections, uh, your, your power and ground, we're gonna bolt this up. Alright, so now that your hub is on, 
quick release is mounted, plugged in, power and ground. Uh, just throw on your steering wheel. That's it.